So this is the review module where you can view kind of past videos for any visual layers, any any trends, things like that. So we can go over to this consumer behavior case. And we can actually see on the left that there's two different cameras. One is the shoe store angle and one is the handbag store angle. So if we want to just kind of see where the objects go in the scene, we can click on play on this camera and it'll build something called the synopsis clip where it overlays all the objects on top of each other um, while minimizing how much video you actually have to watch. So if we wanted to filter out, for example, just where the objects classified as women go, we can filter for the women class, hit apply, and now the video is going to be re-rendered. And you can see, actually see on the left side that at, on the green number, that out of the 26 or so hundred total objects, uh, around 1,500 of them match our women filter. And instead of viewing this video, um, we can see this, for example, on the bottom, this is about 37 minutes of video. Uh, we can do something with our visual layers and kind of just like it, like it says to visualize where the objects have actually gone throughout the scene. So if we click on the first one, this is the activity heat map and just shows where the objects have traveled. Um, in this case, red is 300. So you can see that there's 300 objects traveled wherever there's kind of this heavier red color. And then where there's less activity, it's maybe blue, maybe a little bit of yellow. Uh, if we another one wanted to visualization is the dwelling heat map and actually shows where the objects have dwelled and spent the most time. So you can see, obviously, in this section on the left, that there's, that's where the most people, um, in this case women, spent time in this scene. So this is where you can kind of set up and do A-B testing between um, different setups, different layouts, and see how it actually, how the people react in terms of how much time they spend. Uh, we can also see the common paths and see which direction of travel the objects have gone in the scene. So in this case, red is 180 objects. So you can really see kind of the busiest ones go towards the back left corner and then walk towards uh, the front of the store, walk away from the camera. And we can do the same idea on different cameras. So if we want to do the view the same information on the handbag store, let's, for example, do the dwelling heat map and see again where the objects have spent the most time. So you can see there's actually some two hot spots. So this kind of bottom left one towards the camera and this one towards the middle right. Um, but if we want to actually visualize and get the data behind it instead of the, the thumbnails and the video, that's where we can hop over to the research module and go to this retail trends dashboard. So this is that same video, um, but instead of, like I mentioned, video and thumbnails, we can actually just view it in a data format. So we can specify different sections of the scene to be, for example, the high heel section, the purses, the sandals, etc. And then we can see the data of how much time people spend in each of those sections. So on this bottom left graph, you can see actually that the people spend the most time in the sandal section compared to, for example, the purses. If we wanted to drill down on just men, then all the data will get updated accordingly, and we can still have the same exact filters that we have in the other modules, but in the dashboarding format. And then as you can see in the bottom right, we can also embed um, some of the different visual layers on top of the dashboard just so you can kind of see everything in one shot.